Yeah, hi. Oh, righty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night. Raw review. What the fuck was that shit show? For fuck's sakes. Another worst, one of the candidates of the worst Raw of all time. Literally, every Raw is the worst, but for God's sakes, if anything, this is like probably the worst I've seen. God. So many fucking rematches. Like, what the fuck was going on tonight? Like, literally, it's, there were so many rematches. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And really? Kofi Kingston is defeating fucking Bobby Lashley? What? Oh, he's gonna get a new, he's gonna probably get a future. Who cares a fuck? Really? Oh, but Lester, guess what? Kofi Kingston ain't no fucking Eddie Guerrero. Like, they're trying to do the same shit, apparently. You know, McIntyre and fucking, you know, McIntyre lashed with fucking Goldberg and Lester is that fucking... If you're gonna use that excuse, you're a fucking faggot. Kofi Kingston is not anything in remotely entertaining like fucking Eddie Guerrero or anything cool about him. Okay, so don't give me the shit that, you know, it's okay if a WWE champion losing a guy like Lashley... For God's sake, seriously, you want to see Brock Lesnar losing to Kofi Kingston, especially, like, literally, Kofi had a, already a match tonight. The fuck are you doing? This is unbelievable. Like, seriously, this is retarded. And the fact that Kofi was beating him up didn't help. For fuck's sakes. Oh, but the hurricane, no, I, I didn't like that shit, too. Why are you fucking ruining your... Literally, when you have them lose to jobbers, especially a failure of the WWE Champion, that Kofi Kingston is, really? You're gonna have him lose to Kofi? Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking A. I have a Coca-Cola and drinking Magnuson because I'm gonna need, I need this right now. And, uh, you can bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. You ain't gonna make bitches go, oh shit, oh shit, with this show. It's good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This shit... I, I don't know. I, I have a headache. And it didn't help the fact that literally, oh my god, these all these matches that happened tonight were literally the same fucking matches you would see. Like every pa like past few Raws, for fuck's sakes. Like, what are you doing? Fucking terrible tonight. Fucking A. Fucking shit show. Raw kind of did started fine, like, in a way. Like, fucking, Mac uh, fucking Lashley came out. He came out with some fucking hot black chicks. Well, not really, like, all of them. They're not really, like, hot, hot. But, you know, they're better looking than the fucking divas. Even the fucking sort of kind of chubby bitch. Like, fuck. At least they look like women. Yeah, they, so he had some hot, uh, like, some black chicks and shit like that, which... You know what? That's good. That's how you should, you know, probably have a champion look like, you know? A champion who looks like that and fucking have to hang out with some chicks and shit like that is good. You know what I mean? It would be cool if you, you know, back in the day, divas would also do that shit. But now you can't have the women do that shit anymore. Like, who cares? <sighs> ah, fucking A. Raw kicks off with, yeah, Bobby Lashley, McIntyre, not McIntyre, MVP. Considering Lashley title defense for, uh, from, uh, concern, well, no, it was Sorry, they're celebrating last night. MVP says Braun has broken ribs and Drew couldn't even get out of bed this morning. MVP says Lashley was supposed to have the night off, but Lashley says he wanted to do an open challenge. Why does every wrestler have to do an open challenge? Really, why? Every fucking wrestler. An open challenge to nation. And he's a fucking heel. I got the face like to do the open ch assholes. Open assholes. Time to open your assholes. Like fucking A. Every wrestler has to do this open challenge shit. Drew comes out and wants to accept the challenge. And the Mac MVP says Drew uh, Drew issuing open challenge is not uh, not uh, able to happen because fucking Braun and Drew are not eligible apparently. So whatever. <sighs> uh, Ray Sparks are turning on McIntyre. Oh, but he just keeps being top. Maybe because he's sadly one of the main eventers there. That's why he's in the title picture. And, like, look at Stone Cold. The guy kicks the man in a title shot back in the edge here. But, okay, sure. McIntyre, he lost at WrestleMania. I get it. You know, he lost at WrestleMania. Whatever. But, come on. What is legit the fucking... Any... Who's the better main eventer? You want fucking Lash to face Kofi? God almighty. 
First match, AJ Styles defeats Elias by disqualification after Jackson Riker interfered. That was a match almost made this save for AJ. And I, I, yeah, this match happened before and I didn't give a fuck. Then we get Alexa Bliss's playground. And why the fuck is she still a pedophile's dream? Why is she still like a pet? Like, why is she still acting like a child? And Bray Wyatt's not there. Apparently, they were supposed to feud. Apparently, Bray Wyatt has mental health issues. Okay, whoop de doo. I'm sorry about that. But for God's sakes, maybe, I don't know. Fucking don't do. St I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. It's just. You probably, you're, you're, you're ruined anyway, okay? Go on to uh, take care of your health. But for God's sakes, this is just retarded. Can we just, you know, Alexa Bliss is sadly one of the only few chicks you actually look that looks like a woman. But you're going to turn to a pedophile's dream, which makes me don't even give a shit about her. Thank you very much. Fuck you. Alexa Bliss interviews fucking Natty Nightfart and Tamina, the fucking disgusting She-Hulks. You know, you got one She-Hulk team loses, another She-Hulk wins. Like, who the fuck cares, okay? So this week on gay on the gays on the gay porn segments, uh, second match Angel Garza defeats Drew Gulak, and this time Angel Garza shoves the rose on the fucking dude's mouth. This is like a match on superstars for God's sake. So why the fuck is it on fucking Monday Night Raw? What's the story here? Uh, I did not like you disrespecting me. Who the fuck gives a fuck, you retard? Fuck this shit. Y'all, none of no one knows the fuck y'all are. Who the fuck gives a shit about y'all motherfuckers? You're but nothing but jobbers. You guys deserve to be on fucking shit ass main event or fucking superstars. Why the fuck are y'all Monday fucking Night Raw? Fuck y'all. Get out! Get the fuck out of here! You would take the fucking rose and sit sit on it, okay? Up your fucking assholes, and no one wants to see that shit, okay? And who the fuck is shit about Angel Garza? Literally, Angel Garza is fucking gay, by the way. People are saying that he's the next Eddie Guerrero. Are you fucking kidding me? Next Eddie Guerrero? Are you f are you fucking retarded? Go fuck yourself, seriously. And he's next Eddie Guerrero. Like fuck you. Like you're you're fucking gay if you think that way. I can't believe they're fans of Angel. Who the fuck is Angel Garza? Seriously. Who the cares? Akira Tasawa rolls up our troop for the 24-7 title. We got some guy who's some fucking underwear model lookalike, but he happens to be fucking like Irish or something. You might as well hire General Jerry. Yeah, no one gives a shit. Uh, I mean, it would be nice if they make the 24-7 title. Like, listen, I get the point. You know, you could... Win anytime, anywhere, any place, no matter what. But you know, if you want to make this special, why not do some hardcore matches? Make them fish matches like hardcore and shit. I don't fucking know. Make it like the this generation's hardcore championship. It's if it's because if, if, if again, I'm 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 like wondering if there's literally a twenty four seven championship match, will you get disqualified? I'm just I'm just wondering here. You need to know what is supposed to. Whatever, who cares? I mean, I don't really don't care. It's like it's the same people winning too. Kofi Kingston defeats Randy. Oh yeah, fucking. There's a little dissension with uh, RK, but who the fuck gives you about RK, bro? So basically, Randy Orton and fucking Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle is fucking gay. Um, I don't understand why people like this. People are saying this is like the rock. This is this generation rock and sock connection. Newsflash: Mick Foley when he had balls didn't fucking act like a retard. And for God's sakes, he actually fucking, you know, at, wore shoes. Fucking Matt Riddle. We're supposed to believe he's some, you know, he even though he's a retard, he's he, he's a guy who could probably win championships. Even though the guy is literally you, this generation's Eugene. But except this guy, so for some reason, he can win matches. Yeah, he's this generation's Eugene. What, is it because fucking we can't discriminate the fucking retards? I don't fucking know. Whatever. So, because of, we got some fucking New Day shit. Oh, yo, yo, let's, re let's reunite our fucking robbery and shit. Who the fuck gives a shit about 2009 and 2019? 2019 is one of the worst years of fucking wrestling, you retard. And you were the one of the reasons why. Oh, let's reunite the robbery. Who the fuck gives a shit about your fucking shit ass robbery? And Kofi kicks and beat him. Great. Whoop de doo. Another rematch. And then fucking, he, uh, fucking, Matt Riddle gets angry for some reason. I guess he's fucking, the only reason why he wants to be Randy, he wants to fucking suck on that boner. I want that boner. Oh, yo, bro, I want that boner. Can I, can I uh, smoke it too? Uh, you don't smoke boners. 
I'll bring it yours. Like, oh, fuck it. If that's a good impression, I don't give a shit. 994 and Tamina feeds Nia Jax and Shayla Baszler in a fucking another rematch. After Alexa Bliss caused a distraction and set the ring post on fire, and I'm just thinking to myself, who the fuck cares? Yeah, another rematch. Sheamus defeats Ricochet from a rematch from last night's pre-show. Apparently, fucking Ricochet. The, the reason why this is happening because Ricochet embarrassed Sheamus, and I didn't know what the fuck happened. I didn't fucking care. This time, fucking Sheamus won, or, or fucking he could win, win his. He could wear his fucking thing. I don't know. And he said he might challenge Lashley. Then why weren't you there? Why weren't you challenging Lashley instead of fucking gar garbage ass Kofi? Mason T-Bar flips a coin to determine who will challenge Bobby Lashley. Who the fuck cares? So all these guys that were that they wanted to challenge Lashley, why didn't they come out? Like, here's what would make sense. In, in this, if this is the case, wouldn't it make sense maybe in the end of the show you do like a shit-ass battle royal or something to determine the number one contender? I don't fucking know. If since all these guys, like, if this will happen, this will be, be one. I don't fucking know. Here's another rematch. Oscar defeats Charlotte Flair. And nobody fucking cares, and they're just supposed to disgusting ass she hawks. Rhea Ripley laughs. What do you do? It's probably it's probably the most uh, cr uh, you know scariest laugh you've seen. Here's another fucking rematch. Damien Priest defeat fucking June John Morrison, and this time a normal lumberjack match. Wow. And you remember I say how dumb this shit was? Like fucking Damien Priest and fucking The Miz and Morrison did not get devoured. This is literally more worse than the fucking zombie from ECW. What a joke this shit was. My god. And then literally the open challenge of Bobby Lashley is fucking Kofi Kingston accepting for some fucking reason. You make fucking Bobby Lashley look like a fucking joke during this match because he was actually like fucking getting beat up by fucking Kofi Kingston. And for so and yeah, McIntyre helped fucking Kofi and he won by roll up. That's how you end Raw. So I'm guessing yeah, Gummy's gonna get a new future WWE title shot. Next week. I don't fucking know. Great. You had Bobby Lashley lose. Great, you ruin, you ru ruin, you're ruining his credibility. Okay, you don't do this shit to Brock Lesnar. Now you're doing it to Bobby Lashley. Great. And we're supposed to believe this is some fucking sort of Eddie Guerrero esque moment. If no one fucking cares. Money not and this show was fucking terrible as fuck. Fucking shit ass rematches. Literally, there's like rematch of Mania God's Wild. So many fucking rematches. The only specific new match we've seen, it was sadly the main event. But it's like fucking Bobby Lashley also wanted to have an open challenge to the nation. Why are you doing this shit? Why is every fucking wrestler doing open challenges? Why like opening your asshole for fuck's sakes? And fucking Kofi Kingston out of all people is beating Bobby Lashley. You know, and also... This whole open challenge idea. What did it make sense? It's like some guy who we haven't seen in a long time returning and challenged Bobby Lashley. Apparently, yeah, it was not for the title. It was like a oh, last minute. Oh, you know what? He's not. He's not gonna face the. He's not gonna defend his title in this match. Which again, whatever. Yeah, excuse for intriguing us, but for God's sakes, like seriously, what did it make sense to some guy who's like returning, who's a badass, like Lesnar for fuck's sake, or fucking even Cena? I don't fucking know. Some guy who we haven't seen in a long time, someone who's actually interesting, or someone who's credible, challenging Lashley. But no, we gotta get fucking Kofi Kingston. And for some reason, yeah, we, we were like wondering, who the fuck is gonna challenge Lashley? It's gotta be some retards. And all the retards who also said fucking, they're gonna be, like, they didn't, come, I don't fucking know. I don't get it. I don't care. I don't care. Just retarded. Fuck this show. Seriously, fuck this show. Fuck Monday Night Raw, you're garbage, you got a shit ass fucking pay per view, fucking rest of me, you backlash. Now this was fucking shit. It's fucking bunch of fucking rematches and jobbers defeating your fucking champion. You wonder why you don't have credible wrestlers? This is why your ratings go down, by the way. You're having your ch world champion who's supposed to look credible and shit like that. Yeah, he's losing a fucking dis. fucking. Oh, God almighty. By the way, Bobby Lashley is a better black champion than Kofi will ever be. But yeah, let's have him lose to this fucking joke of a champion who caused one of your lowest ratings for his in history. Your lowest drawing WWE champion in history, for God's sakes. Oh, fucking A. Fuck, fuck this show. I'm done. One of the worst Raws I've ever seen. I'm gar uh, garbage. I'm tired. I'm just keeping your motherfuckers. Get your fucking games. Get, get the muscles and shit. And actually get a big black cat to fuck your bitch from couch. Drink the last class. That's my man. Cheers. Don't gotta save people until next time. Peace, yeah, bye.